This is the plaintiff, Andres Murillo Chacon. He says he works at Disney World as a plumber and was hired by the defendants as a side job to remove and install a new bathtub. He was paid for his work, then the defendants stopped payment. He did a good job and deserves the $1,050.10 he's owed for the job. That's why he's suing. These are the defendants, Brandy and Laz. Brandy says once they removed some bracing wood after the job was completed, they noticed a bunch gap between the wall and the new tub. This was a shoddy job by an inexperienced plumber. And if anyone's owed money, it's them. They're accused of stopping payment. The defendants have filed a countersuit for $563.63 for additional monies needed to fix the plaintiff's job. All parties, please raise your right hands. People's Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Lamb is now presiding. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, Mr. Murillo, what do you do for a living? I do uh, plumbing, construction work, renovations. Okay, all right. And um, how were you contacted by Ms. Brandy and Mr. Laz? I was doing, um, we were doing a big uh, plumbing project for Disney, and one of the supervisors of the company for the one that we worked, his name is Jose. Um, he knew me for a while. Um, and he, he asked me for kind of a little help because... These people, they had a, a league on the second floor. How did, how, Brandy and Laz, how did you know Jose? Um, he's a contractor that we use to do some work on our downstairs bathroom. Okay, so he tells you, I'm not a plumber. I can recommend a plumber, and he recommends Mr. Murillo, right? All right, now, Mr. Murillo, what were you hired to do at Brandy and Laz's house? Oh, I was hired to replace the bathtub. Okay. Is there anything in writing between you guys regarding exactly what you got hired for? Was there a written contract? No. Is that accurate, Ms. Brandy and Mr. Laz? There's no written contract? Okay. So yes, you go yes. in there and what do you do? Um, well, it's not just replace a bathtub. They had a leak, right? Like you were seeing, Ms. Brandy, you were seeing the, the ceiling was bubbling or something. Tell me about that. How did you know you had a leak? What was the evidence of leak? There was a water bubble in between the, the tub liner and the original tub. Okay. So the tub had a blister. A blister. Okay, that's a good yes. way to put it. All right, Mr. Murillo, so go on. So you were there to replace the tub and I presume the liner and, and you know, fix the plumbing issue, right? Exactly. So from the first day, I remember that I recommend Lazarus or Laz, uh that the best way to work on that tub was replace a whole wall because... Um, for me to replace the, the bathtub, we have to remove the wall. When we're so talking we about a wall, let's hold on one second. When we're talking about a wall, we're talking about a vinyl, like those vinyl prefab walls. The vinyl wall that you see there, that is the vinyl wall. It looks like tile, but it's vinyl wall. Okay. And you yes. told them that they should that they should do what? Tile it? Yes. They said, oh, he actually told me that they didn't want to spend a lot of money at the moment. So he told me, no, we're gonna, we want to reuse the whole wall, the whole vinyl, and we want to try to reuse all faucets and replace it up. So they provide the, they provide the materials, and I was just going to do the labor. Um, Who picked out the labor. tub? Uh, did. They did. You guys picked out the tub? Ms. Brandy? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What happens? Um, you put in the tub, and then there's, according to them, there's a gap. Uh, they say it's an inch and a half. You say it's an inch. Uh, and then you tell them, just grout this. Why didn't you just grout it? Because it's kind of strange to leave it. And these are, these, um, they're complaining because this is falling off of the wall, the shelf. Why is that falling off of the wall? Okay. Uh, they're saying that there is a little gap that we can grout. This is what happened. So we were supposed to, or we were hired to do the top. We didn't get hired to fix walls. We even uh, rebuild the wall. Ah, we, now's uh, where, this is where, this is where a contract would come in handy, wouldn't it? Where I can see exactly what he was hired to do, right? He says he was only no. hired to install a tub. Did you ever warn them that reusing a used vinyl wall might be a problem? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, that's, I've been doing so many, so many budgets like that before, like many, many. And this is the first time in my life that I, 
I'll get requests to use like the old wall, you know, like old vinyl. Uh, to do okay. the job like correct, you have to uh, build the wall new, and then you're gonna have 100% finish, like a good looking finish, you know? Yeah, that is- on that night when he hands over the tub with the vinyl wall up, do you pay him? I did, I asked him about, you know, he, we went up and we looked at the bathroom. Um, I asked about the gap, he says, oh, you know, it's no problem, just, fill it in with caulk, and then in, in 24 hours, you can take the wood off the wall. So I wasn't thrilled about that, but I said, well, all right, we just want to be done with this. We've been waiting for 10 days. You know, you told us it would be three to four days, and now it's been 10 days, so okay. So yes, at that point, uh, we went downstairs, and I paid him the amount that we had agreed on, which was 1200 And then what do you do a few days later? And why? Three days later, we left the wall, the, the wood on the wall for three days so that the glue could dry. He told us only 24 hours. We pulled the, the wood down, and you saw the, the two-by-fours that he had propped up in there. Um, the wall starts coming away, the, the vinyl. Um, you know, and, and you can see all of that in there. We eventually, we had somebody else come back and, and look at it. And they said, you know, the gap that, that was left in there once we took the wall down, we, we found that he had ripped out um, uh, a line of tile at the bottom near the, near the tub. And instead of sealing that in with the correct uh, wallboard for, for water areas, he just oh, wow. took uh, scrap drywall and nailed it to the frame and then used little dots of silicone caulk. And you can see the white dots on the, over the brown, the old brown glue. And just, that's what he tried to glue the wall back on with. So, of course, it didn't stay. Okay. Okay. But and here's my question to you. You you hired someone else to come in and do what? Fix the vinyl to, siding or retile your bathroom to a beautiful tile finish uh, that gets cut we, specifically right to the tub? And then you, t- you tiled your whole your bathroom. That's what you did, what he had suggested to begin with, rather than reuse the he vinyl. Never, no, because that can oh, never, he never suggested. I'm sorry. He never suggested that to us. He he insisted that once he because he didn't even realize that the, the vinyl wall was was vinyl. He thought it was tile at first. And once I explained, no, 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 this is vinyl. He says, oh, well, we can. What did you say? That. What made you what what made you think what made you think that um, he thought it was tile? He said he had to remove the bottom border where the tile meets the tub to uh, remove the old tub. And that he would put okay, some. Okay, so that wasn't out. a surprise. I got it. So then, when you say he did that all wrong, you're not experts. So, what expert testimony do you have for me to decide that he did that all wrong? Like, you're proclaiming I, it, I but have, where's the evidence of it? I have the quote for the repairs um, to the, fix it so that the. the, the right, wall but that is doesn't. I, I, I thought I saw that, and if I missed it, I apologize. So you elucidate me. Does the quote for the repairs say that he did something wrong, or is it just a quote to tile your bathroom? It's a quote to repair the seal between the wall and the, the tub. All right, let's take a look at it. And you're on. By the way, who did you get to, to do the repair work, according to you? Jose Luis. The guy that recommended him. Jose, the guy who recommended him. Does anybody yeah. have an affidavit from Jose? No. Anybody no. have Jose's testimony? Can I hear from Jose? I can try to give him a call. Okay, see if you can get Jose on the line. I'm very interested yes, in hearing from Jose. Can you put him on speaker? Yes, ma'am. Hold on a second. Okay. Hi, Jose. How you doing? Good, this is Judge Milian from the People's Court. I have some questions for you that I just wanted you to answer, you know, honestly and to the best of your ability. Are, uh, do you agree to do that with us? Sure. Excellent. Can we have him sworn in, please, Douglas? Yeah, absolutely, Arna. If I could, please, let me get you to raise your right hand. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes. Thank you, my dear. All right, so I, I know that you referred Mr. Murillo as a plumber. So my question to you, Jose is part of their complaint is that uh, in putting back the vinyl wall, he didn't seal things appropriately. Is that accurate or is that not accurate? It is, it is accurate based on what was behind it. Okay. Was there a different, better way that he should have done it? Actually, 
The other way to do it is, is I'm basically adding more work to the scope of work. In order to make the vinyl work, they had to add something more solid as a base because it will not glue back. What was it he would have had to add that is more solid? Blue rock basically demolished the old tile that was behind the, the vinyl like we did and just fix it, you know, fix it with new Duroc ceiling, this brand new with tile. What would it cost to demolish that tile that was back there and put new du Duroc, like you just said? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be around six $650. Okay, That's a, and I, my yeah, next, okay. And I, I know you're not a plumber, but you do do contracting work. Typically speaking, what should it cost to install a tub? No less than 1200. 1200? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jose. You've been very, very helpful. Okay? No problem. Thank you. We're going to let you go. You can hang up with him. Thank you, my dear. Okay. All right, folks. So, according to Jose, the average cost to put in a tub with all of the plumbing work that needed to be done, plus the, the, the demolition beforehand, is about 1200 bucks, which is what this fellow was charging you. According to, the, to Mr. Murillo, it was never in the ball game that he was supposed to do anything but do you the courtesy of putting back your old vinyl thing. It wasn't up to him to, you know, do do right. He's a plumber. It wasn't up to him to seal this and do whatever. You guys were trying to save money, and so he was going to put it back up, and that's it. So he's not supposed to do it to any great specifications because that was like an add-on. According to you, heck no. We want to be able to use the tub, and this is going to cause us a problem in the future. So he... He didn't deliver what we paid him to deliver. I, you know, he did a Mickey Mouse job. I would like to know if anyone has any evidence to buttress their position that you hired him to redo your bathroom versus reinstall a tub, which is what he keeps saying. Your Honor, when he came and looked at the job, he said that he would have to uh, remove the first layer of, of towel around the tub. Um, so he can gain access. Okay, you're repeating to the yourself. Old I, I, I understand. Right, I understand that because that's the only way you're going to be able to rip out a tub. Okay. And did you, by the way, Mr. Murillo, hold on. Did you put mm -hmm. drywall as opposed to Duroc? Yes. Okay. Their complaint is, why are you putting drywall? Because drywall isn't impermeable. Duroc is. Is that accurate? Actually, on that part of the wall, that doesn't get wet. That is really, really good. Oh, stop. stop, 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 stop. That's right. Okay, that's right above the tub. I don't know about that. All right, let's discuss something, Miss Brandy and Mr. Laz. Other than repeating yourselves, do you have any written verification that describe the scope of the work? Not your complaints later to PayPal. Texts or emails before he does a job that would show me, prove to me what the scope of the work was supposed to be. No. No, I've submitted everything I have. Okay, now you ended up contesting with PayPal and requested a $700 refund of the $1,200 that you had paid him. So That's that correct. he ends up for demolishing and installing your tub and, and getting the plumbing right away, he ends up getting only $500. That's what you guys did. So how did you come up with deciding that uh, out of $1,200 that you willingly paid him the day before, you would then um, demand seven hundred dollars back from PayPal. Well, it was three days later, after you know, waiting to let the glue dry and everything fell down. Um, that you know, I'm we sorry, stop. We Did everything fall down, or it was separate? It, it started so separating. The wall was coming off of the original wall. Okay. Do you have uh, Do you so, have pictures of that? Looks like all I've got is a picture of the the. Um, shelving that's coming away. Let's look at that. I do see the picture of the shelving moving away. What I'd like to know, Mr. Murillo, is you receive word from PayPal that she has contested the charge. Did you ever receive word from them? Had they ever told you, hey, you know, we're very unhappy, this thing is falling down? Did they ever contact you? No. Okay, so you get word for the first time through PayPal, and what do you do? You try texting them and asking what's the problem? Yes, I try to call and then try to text. Why didn't you respond to PayPal? Because I don't think that I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get anywhere with them. You know, I don't think that. That's not true. That PayPal is gonna That's me. not true. 
That's not true. <laughs> if you explain our only contract was for this, this is what I did, and this is what I tried. You know, they might have ruled for you. Don't do that again. Stand up for yourself beforehand. You can save yourself the agita of trial. My role is to decide what putting in a tub is worth because when you get right down to it, oh, and let's look. You did end up tiling it. You hired Jose to tile it, and now it's beautiful, right? This is how the tub looks now because you had it nicely tiled. And then let's discuss your counterclaim where you are exactly suing him for the labor of tiling the new bathroom, right? Here's what's going to happen. On your counterclaim against him, zero. And on his claim against you, why is it that you're suing as though your bill had been 1500 when your bill was only 1200 Mr. Moody? Um, because when I went to see the... Uh, the top and the work and everything that involved the demolition and everything, I give them 1500 for the original price. So they call me back and they tell me, ah, it's a little too much. We would like to see if you can do it for 1200 I know. So I what entitles you to now decide that it's 1500 It's kind of funny because, because you, 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 I mean, you don't have a contract for 1500 do you? You gave them a discount. You're just mad now that you gave them a discount because they ended up stiffing you and I don't blame you. All right, so here we are. They ended up contesting 700. They cost you $15 in PayPal fees. I have to decide yes. what is the value of just replacing a tub because we don't know what your contract was. So the judge has to sit here and say, all right, we know that what he did of value was put in the tub. The whole wall thing was a catastrophe using the vinyl thing. So what's the value of what he did do? Demolition, removal of debris, installing a tub, reattaching the plumbing, fixing the leak, yada, yada, yada. And what is the best evidence of what that is worth? Your witness, Jose, who says that that alone is worth $1,200. So I am going to order you, Mr. Laz and Ms. Brandy, to pay the defendant $700 plus the $15 of PayPal fee for a sum total judgment in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $715 and on your counterclaim zero. In the future, when you do construction work, I highly recommend that all of your expectations be put on paper, okay? $715 worth yes. for the plaintiff. Let's talk to Brandy and Laz now. Uh, what's your feeling right now? Uh, <laughs> don't, don't really have anything for you. I mean, it, you know. It, well, the bottom line is you really didn't have a spelled out contract. Do you understand that? Not, not everything yeah, you right. wanted was, was written down. So you left a lot up to the judge to have to decide for herself. Am I right? I understand. All right. Uh, let's talk to the plaintiff now. You know, you've learned something, too. The judge says you need a written contract. Yes, sir. So let me ask you, just blatantly, what have you learned from this whole experience? <laughs> um, I will have to be uh, a little more organized with the contract uh, next time. So sometimes you just feel that the people will be honest with you. But you really never know who's going to be there or if they're going to be willing to pay you the end or not. So I shouldn't be trust no more. And I got to be like more strict with the contract and um, yeah, be more organized with those papers. Well, if you've learned that, you've learned a very valuable lesson. So good for you. Congratulations. It is. Okay. Well, that'll bring the case to a close. Let's see what Harvey has to say. Harvey? So, Doug, the judge said that these contracts should be in writing. And I want to explain why. Uh, you've heard the expression, the devil is in the details. Well, that is the case here because you need to be as specific as possible about what the job requires, what should be done, how much it costs. If you don't do that, you are asking for a lawsuit. Hey, Judge Marilyn, where did you and John meet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because, God bless my mother, who's 95 glorious years old. Right. She asked that how many times? Uh, if we're at her house for an hour, she probably asks it three or four times. At least three Maybe or four more. times. Right. 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 Um, so John and I met at happy hour at a bar, like every other guy I ever met, at a bar. And um, 
And it was a Friday after Thanksgiving. Yeah. And, uh, and a lot of state attorneys and U.S. attorneys. I was a state attorney at the time, a right. state prosecutor. You were a federal prosecutor. That used to be a really big night for that bars. That was a big night. Friday, Friday was a big night. Um, and uh, there was a friend, a mutual friend of ours standing between you and I. And I was checking you out. And I hit my friend and right. said, Danny, Danny. Danny, who is now, who's now the mayor of Miami Danny, Beach. Danny, who is now the mayor of Miami Beach, but was a U.S. attorney. With, right. Danny, Danny, introduce me to your friend. What? What? Oh, Marilyn, John, John, Marilyn. But right. he goes, he tells everybody, I set them up. That's, right, that's right, what right. Danny says. <laughs> that's what Mayor Gel Gelber says. Right. But anyway, we talked all night. We, uh, there was and a then, little spark there. There was a lot Let's of spark there. Say. And then you wouldn't ask me out. I, uh, I did. I got around to it. And remember that. Two months later. <laughs>